வாக்கத்தகே ஹமரே என் வாசம் சுஸ்திரமாயிடுமே வாக்கத்தகே ஹமரே என் வாசம் சுஸ்திரமாயிடுமே மாயது நீங்கி போகும் அமர்த்தியமாயது நாம் தரிக்கும் திரவத்வமாயது நீங்கி போகும் அமர்த்தியமாயது நாம் தரிக்கும் மண் சரீரம் மாறி என் சரீரம் பூகி நித்தியதையில் நாமும் மண் சரீரம் மாறி என் சரீரம் பூகி நித்தியதையில் நாமும் சேரும் எத்த சம்மோதம் எத்த சந்தோஷம் சுவீய வாசமதே எத்த சம்மோதம் எத்த சந்தோஷம் எல்லாம் நாம் விட்டு போகும் ஈதேகமெல்லாம் கஷயிச்சு போகும் ஈதேகம் எல்லாம் நாம் விட்டு போகும் ஈதேகம் எல்லாம் கஷயிச்சு போகும் ஸ்வர்க்கிய பார்ப்பிட முயரத்தில் ஞான் காணுன்னு விஸ்வாச கண்களாலே ஸ்வர்க்கிய பார்ப்பிடம் உயரத்தில் ஞான் காணுன்னு விஸ்வாச கண்களாலே எத்த சம்மோதம் எத்த சந்தோஷம் ஸ்வர்க்கிய ஜ
those who are standing there to kindly come forward and uh, take your seats. Yeah, a warm good morning to everyone and uh, praise to the Lord. First of all, I would request uh, all of you to ensure that your mobile phones are on silent mode so that there won't be any disturbance in between. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, we read about the blessed ending of a life. We read that, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award me on that day. We have gathered here to give thanks to God for the life of our dear sister Joyce George, who has successfully finished her course in this earth, and to bury the mortal remains of the dear sister. As we commence the meeting, uh, we will start with a word of prayer. I request Brother Sam Samuel to 
come forward and lead us in prayer Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Our Lord and loving Heavenly Father, we worship and thank you for this sweet time of fellowship you have given in your presence this morning. Any time we gather in your name, they are sweet times which you have given graciously to us through your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We gratefully look to your presence this morning. Thank you for the way in which you have given us this redemption, this wonderful salvation. Through your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who sacrificed himself on the cross of Calvary, the great fellowship which allowed us to gather together to give a Christian farewell, a believer's farewell for our dear Joyce Mama. We thank you for the life. Thank you for the testimony. We once again worship and thank you for the way in which you have taken care of her. The family life which has been an example and a helpful one to the many around her. We thank you for all those who have gathered this morning to pay tributes to her as well as remember the wonderful life she has led in this world. We remember his family, we remember basically, we remember Thomas, Sally, Jasmine and Jibi as well as Blessy and Johan. We pray for the family and others who have gathered and traveled from long distances to be with us this morning. Thank you for the gathering, thank you for the fellowship. We thank you and look at your face for all the grace that is required for the continuation of this service this morning. We pray for all those who are taking part in different services and ministries this morning. We thank you for the ones who are leading various <coughs> services and all those who are going to take part as well as do the remaining things that is required. We thank you for the assembly, Pashi assembly also. Thank you for allowing them to take the lead in this matter. We once again thank you for this time which has given to us. We sit in your presence. Allow us to be thankful to you for the life as well as the life given to us, so that we will be able to continue living this world to your, till your son returns and takes us, or we are gathered to your place. We thank you once again, give you all glory. We ask all these things in the most precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 8, it gives us this great assurance. We read that we are confident I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. That is, when we die, that very moment we are with the Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. Why I said is that there is no ambiguity among any of us where our sister is right now. She is already in heaven on the, on the very moment, at the very moment she died. So we are gathered here not to mourn for her, not to feel sorrow for her, not to pray for her soul. She is already there in the heavenly places, enjoying her eternal life. Rather, we are here, uh, gathered here to glorify God for the good life that God granted her and all the Lord's doing in her life, the uh, goodness that all of us enjoyed for her, from her. So this is rather a moment of celebration for us because she, as far as is concerned, she is in heaven. We don't have to do anything more for her. We are here to celebrate her life and to bury her mortal remains. Before we sing a couple songs, I would like to uh, do some introductory announcements. First, I would like to give a brief about Sister Joyce George. Many of us knows all this, just for the formality. She was born on May 18, 1943 to late George Matai and late Tankama Matai of Varikamakal House, Anikada in Kerala. She was the third among four siblings. In 1962, she married Mr. A.G. George from Attasheril, Varayannur, Pullad in Kerala, and they moved to Bombay around 1964. They were blessed with two sons, Thomas George and late Matthews George, two daughter-in-laws, Shali Thomas and Blessy Matthews, and two grandchildren, Jasmine Thomas and Johan Matthews. Mr. and Mrs. A.G. George, they were in fellowship with the, brethren, the Hebron Brethren Assembly 
in Everard Nagar till 2012. Then they moved to Kopparkairane to be close to the family of their young son, uh, late Matthews. From that time onwards, they were in fellowship with the Christian Brethren Assembly Washi. On 30th April last year, it pleased the Lord to call Mr. A.G. George to his heavenly home. In recent years, Sister Joyce developed many age-related ailments, as we all know, and she had difficulty in walking still. As yesterday we remember, till the time she was completely confined in her house, she made it a point to come and attend the worship meeting. And uh, as a church, we gratefully remember that last year, when our assembly hall went into repair and was closed for a few months, Sister Joyce George graciously opened her home for the assembly worship meeting. Recently, she was in relatively good health. Uh, in fact, I visited her last Saturday and found her in her usual uh, cheerful mode, uh, happy and uh, joyful as always. That smiling picture which is on the leaflet, it was taken on that day. However, on Tuesday, uh, September 5th morning, she felt some uneasiness. And by noon, before the medical school uh, intervened, she succumbed to a cardiac arrest. It pleased our Lord to call her to, her, to his heavenly home. So let us praise God for the uh, fruitful life that she had. Now the choir, uh, I request the choir to come forward and they will be leading us in a couple of songs. Some of these songs are printed in the uh, leaflet that we are having. Let us prayfully join the song.
songs. Now we move to the time of eulogies, condolence messages. Uh, we have a total of six eulogies uh, uh, scheduled, two from the churches and rest from the family. Uh, as we know, we have planned this as a very short program. Uh, within two hours, we would like to finish the funeral service. So I humbly request the speakers to kindly stick to the, t stick to the time of a maximum of three minutes for each eulogies. First, I would like to uh, invite Brother Rajshegh. 
I think he hasn't, uh, could not come till now. Uh, may I please request uh, Brother Jose Matthews, representing Hebron Brethren Assembly, Everard Nagar, to come forward and speak to us. I came to Bombay the year 1985. Since then, I knew Amama and her, her family. During those days, we were staying at Wazai, which was very far away from here. So now and then, especially when there is a cottage meeting or something like that, we used to go and meet, be with them for some time. But in the year 1993, we shifted to Chambur and our house was very close to Amama's place. So from there onwards, I was a regular visitor to her. Amama used to fall sick. Achayan used to fall sick every now and then. So whenever there is a problem, I will, we always used to go there, pray. And uh, many times, there was a lot of means they were uh, hospitalized. And she has she had undergone a lot of physical problems during her lifetime. But one thing we had noticed that she never, never complained about anything. She never expressed her pain. She never expressed her problems and what is the problem she is undergoing that she never, she never expressed this in her throughout her life. Whenever she sees us, she always smiles, she always smiles. And with a smile only, she always uh, opens the door to welcome us. And once we go there, many, as, as I told you, as I was, was saying, very Mama, close by, many times I used to tell her, Mama, I don't take any tea or coffee. But without a cup of tea or coffee, she never used to allow it to go from there. She was very, in hospitality, she was uh, well known. Even about you know, the church also, wherever, whenever there is a program, she was always there in the forefront. And not only that, when we think about her, there are very many qualities in her life. He, she, they lift, uh, shifted from there to New Bombay in uh, about uh, 11 years back. That was uh, in relation with the sickness of uh, her son, Matthews. So even those times also, we used to come once in a while. It was not so regular. But she was in our prayerless till the previous night of her departure. Every day, we used to pray for her. And we had a prayer meeting almost about, about four days in a week. And every time we used to remember her and uh, all other brothers, all, they, all her family members in our prayer. And another thing which is, uh, which is what we could see in her, she was so simple and so humble. She was approachable for anybody. And she was, she never, till now I have never heard a word of pride or a word of boasting either about her, herself or her, any of her family members or of any of their property. Let it be anything. I never heard that we have so and so, we have so and so or my child is so and so. Never, never, never. She was so humble. And so content. It was really so a very great thing to have such people along with us. So the time that we spent together was really always lovely. We were so happy to be together many times, even with our children also. All the children. She used to be an amaji for her, all the children. And uh, she behaved in the same way as well as the children also loved and respected her in the same, same manner. Even uh, she had a lot of problems, as I told you, mentally she had, had to undergo 
many agonies we know in relation with the Matthew's departure, Achaia's departure. There are many sorrowful occasions in the house. His brother, and there are so many occasions. But she faced everything. She never over expressed whatever had in her life. She kept everything in her. And she always used to be very cheerful and uh, was really so prayerful. And only one thing she used to say always, pray. Whenever any problem is there, we go to meet her and we go to tell something. Say, Makla Prathichar Matram Mari. That is sufficient. There is no need to, uh, for, uh, means, uh, what is that, to console her or anything like that. You just pray. God will take care of her. She was really a wonderful person as far as concerned about her assembly. She was a great blessing for us. And uh, even if she was not so well, she always used to see that she participate every Sunday worship meeting. So somehow she take a rickshaw and directly she used to come to the assembly for the most of most of the Sundays without the leaving any without uh, waiting anything. Almost every Sunday she used to come for the uh, worship meeting. She was such a good mother. She was such a good sister, a good grandmother for uh, everybody in the assembly. So she courageously face whatever problems that come across her mind in her life and uh, she was always a comfort for uh, others and uh, now <clears throat> on behalf of uh, Hebron Christian Assembly and uh, me also we express our uh, deep condolences to all the dear ones especially Thomas, Shali, Jasmine and, Ch and, and uh, her family, uh, Blessy and Johan. We they hope to see her on the other shore. I conclude here. Thank you. Thank you, brother, for the kind words. May I please request uh, brother A.T. John uh, the younger brother of late A.G. George to come forward and uh, share a few words. Actually, my elder brother Kurian also was supposed to come with me. But yesterday, we came to Yosujame's place. We spent some time. And uh, when we returned, I realized it will be difficult for him to come again today and spend the time here. I could see physically the condition he was going through. Joseph Gachima became part of our family in 1961. He, she was the eldest daughter, daughter in love. And uh, we all had uh, a great special relationship with her. She was not uh, an in-law. My father used to say, I have, my, I have five sons and five daughters. And that's the way he treated all. And uh, after Ojama came to Bombay, till I left uh, 
Mumbai for a birthday. I stayed with her most of the time. In fact, even after our marriage, and we stayed with as a family with her and George Child. At that time, Thomas and Matthews were very small. He started to go to school only. Matthews was probably age of one or two at that time. And uh, we really enjoyed her love, her affection. All these years, though we lived uh, apart many thousand miles away, still we were keeping in regular touch and uh, we used to talk to her regularly. Even a week before, <coughs> she called me and she used to call at least once in a week. Either she calls me or I call her. And uh, I never felt at that time anything was going to happen very soon. We never imagined that she was going to leave us so quick. When Thomas called me and told me, I could not take it. It was difficult for me to pass this message to others. I, when I stand here, I have many things to, but I don't think I can bring out everything at this time. I won't take much time. I will just read a note that my son sent this morning. He was here, my eldest son, Stevie, was here on 9th of August. And he says, exactly one month today. And uh, just I'll read that note, what he sent to me. On August 9th, exactly a month ago, we walked through the door of Amachi's home as Jason Chan took us to see her in Navi, Bombay, while we were on a short visit. Although Amachi was a little weaker than when we saw her last, over a year ago, she had the same gracious smile. And as always, she would not let us leave until we took part at her table. Memories come back of Machi, along with Apachan, always being at the weddings of the attached grandchildren and welcoming the newest members into the family. Though the years and decades, and during my years in Mumbai, always remember Amichi's loving hospitality and her concern for the family. You could never tell if Amichi was going through a difficulty because of her cons consistently positive disposition, as a result of which you were left encouraged after seeing her. Today, September 9th, we can only look with the fond memories of Amachi's parting smile. We are thankful the Lord gave us one more opportunity to see Amachi. If she were here with us, she would be the one comforting and encouraging us. At this difficult time of loss, we close with praise for Thomas Chastin, Charlie Mama, Blessy, Jasmine, Gibi and Johan for the Lord's comfort and strength. Stevie Finn, and Finney, my <coughs> younger son and families. Thank you. Thank you, Angus, for sharing the wonderful memories. Uh, now we'll have one eulogy from Christian Brethren Assembly Washi, uh, Brother VB Premi. He will come forward and speak. After which we'll have a song, Neeli Asaman Ke Par Jayenge, song number three. And then again, we'll continue with the eulogies.
pray the Lord. Actually, our Brother Raj Shekhar was supposed to speak. I been not well. I wanted to avoid coming forward. But this is a time given by Lord to me to tell things which I have learned from my dear sister in the past. Our dear sister, with the grace of God, taught us many things. Being a good believer, though family side and other sides, we can think many things, but I have seen that she loved the Lord in a wonderful way. I being, we both are born in same year, 1945. And uh, though Lord has still kept me, it is His grace. I have seen that dear sister, she loved Lord. Any time we met, she met with a joy. I never seen her face with any anger or any shouting, always smiling. And that thing only can come when we are near to Lord. Our Lord loved us so much, though He suffered for us, but He has given that joy which I could see in my dear sister jo uh, Joyce. So, I want to thank God, though now she has left us, she is in better place, and uh, we'll be little later, uh, maybe, but we will be joining her there, and her remembrance will be always with us. And the sad thing will be that we will be missing her fellowship, which we rejoiced always. And it is the grace of God that we will be able to live together in heaven and rejoice in our Lord. So we thank God for everything. Though this place is not our place, we have to live one day. And our Lord Jesus Christ, by paying the great price for our sins, made us worthy to live in heaven with Him. So we thank God for all the things which have happened. Though we will be missing her, but we rejoice that she is in a better place. May God bless everyone.
मेरा यीशु रहता वहां उसका कोई भी वादा होना हो गया दूरा हर एक वादा उसका होता है पूरा उसका कोई भी वादा उसका कोई भी वादा होना हो गया पूरा हर एक वादा उसका होता है पूरा उसका कोई भी वादा उसके आने का वादा भी होगा पूरा देखेगा सारा जहां के आने का वादा भी होगा पूरा देखेगा सारा जहां हम मिलेंगे बादलों पर हम मिलेंगे बादलों पर देखेगा सारा जहां नीले आसमां के पार जाएंगे मेरा यीशु रहता वहा जो होगा मेरा नाम रहेगा दूरा ये विश्वास है मेरा ये विश्वास है मेरा जो सपना ये मेरा नाम रहेगा दूरा ये विश्वास है मेरा उसके संग हम रहेंगे अपने यीशु के देखेगा सारा जहां उसके संग हम रहेंगे अपने यीशु के देखेगा सारा जहां हम मिलेंगे बादलों पर हम मिलेंगे बादलों पर देखेगा सारा जहां नीले आसमां के पार जाएंगे मेरा यीशु रहता वहां नीले आसमां के पार जाएंगे मेरा यीशु रहता Thank you for that wonderful song. What a beautiful song. What a great meaning. Yes, you are also remembering that we will meet in the middle of the day. As I remember, we are not here to grieve, but we are remember to that hope that we are having to celebrate her life and to declare our hope once again. We will meet her again in the mid heavens, along with the saints of yore. There are no first or second there. We are all together going to be with the Lord. always what a blessed hope what a blessed assurance what a great promise our good lord has given us we are not like the people of the world who are sorrowful but we encourage each other with these words hallelujah now may i please uh, request brother sam abraham to kind come forward and uh, share some thoughts ha huh. children if you want to be wise listen to your parents and do what they tell you and the lord god will help you no these are not my words this is from the scriptures from the book of ephesians uh, which we have been taught right from the time we were in sunday school my name is sam most of us most of them call me that way few of them who love me call me biju joyce mama calls me biju uh how am i related to joyce mama he for those who are uninitiated or those who do not know uh joti chan is my mummy's elder brother or kunj chan's first cousin now the fun here is the love affair between joti chan 
and my mother. That's what I want to share today. It's a love affair which is very amazing, so I need to put this across. Now, when they were small, their houses was few meters away, just few meters away, where you first see my mummy's house and then you go to Jyoti Chan's house. They grew up, mummy got married, came to Bombay, came and settled down in Chimbur. Soon thereafter, Jyoti Chan also came behind her, came to Chembur and settled down with her, again few yards away. Now they stayed there in Chembur few yards away for around 16-17 years. We moved to a place called Bright Heaven, which is now popularly known because of the events that happened in the last one year. We moved to Bright Heaven, Jyoti Chan also moved. So for the last 60 years, I have been seeing Jyoti Chan and Joyce Mama throughout my life because they were just one eye shot away. Now see the love affair between this brother and sister. Now it doesn't stop there, it doesn't stop there. Uh, I lost my mother in September 2021. Jyoti Chan said, now, in the earth we were together, now it's difficult. Within six months, he also joined my mother up. Now you see, my mother went, Jyoti Chan went, soon after that my dad went, and now Joyce Mama. Do I need to say more about my relationship with Joyce Mama or what are my interactions with her or what are her influence on me? Now she was a dutiful wife, she was a true wife in the way that she follows wherever Jyoti Chan goes. Jyoti Chan's impact on me is this. If I am speaking good English today in front of you all, if I have the confidence to stand and talk to you all today, it's just because of Jyoti Chan. If I make a mistake, it's mine. Because I didn't obey him. My English literature, my language, my pronunciation, all were guided by Jyoti Chan. Now, behind that, Jyoti Chan's one word instruction is this. Joyce Mama who is sitting. Ni padicho. Ni cheido. Ni vanno. Ni poyo, ni padicho, ni avaku padicho, ni opportunity at a meaning padicho, ni vice versa at a meaning ariyamo. Who the hell wants to know all that? But here is Joyce Mama forcing me to learn because Jyoti Chan said, learn. And today, uh, I think I can speak good English. Thanks to Joyce Mama and Jyoti Chan. Joyce Mama, her love for me is, all, I would say, almost equal to Thomas and Matai. Matai is Matthews or onion gunj for many people. We call him Matai at home. My mommy calls onion gunj. I think Joyce Mama gave us the same love that Thomas and Matthews got. Now, if Thomas and Matthews has a shirt and pant that she has purchased, if they're going to Kerala in Jayanti Janta those days, I also get the same shirt and pant. I also go in that same Jayanti Janta. I also come back in that same train. Now, this is my relationship with Joyce Mama. Food-wise, don't look at my stomach. Food-wise, Joyce Mama had a good influence on me. Matai also had. I think Joyce Mama's jeans went into Matai. Matai started cooking so well that he gave me some quick tips how to make food. And today I'm healthy because of Matai and Joyce Mama. I stand here uh, not only on my personal behalf or my family. My sisters, Veena and Betsy, who grew up with me, uh, Thomas and Matthew, we are five, grew up together. We went to Sunday school together. We went to school together. We were always together. Even today we are together. They joined me in uh, this moment of time. My mummy's elder sister who is in Kerala, uh, Mangna Sheril, she conveys her condolence. Mummy's younger sister who is in US, uh, for, for everyone to know George Martin and Laisama, or what we call Kuncha and Molai, they convey their condolences. My dad's elder sister who is in Florida, who is no more, but their children, M.K. Matthews' family in Worley, who were staying in Worley, they were very close to Joyce Mama, they convey their condolences. I stand beyond behalf of them. Church, I can see people from Bright Heaven here, I can see people from outside the church. Joyce Mama has been a strong influence, not only to me, not only to my sisters, but to everyone who crosses our paths. Like we heard, and as we've been hearing for the last one year, when four of them left, one after the other, we will see you on the other show. That's a promise.
Thank you, brother, for those lovely words. Very personal, very touching, and I know it's very emotional, but you managed it well. Praise the Lord. Now we will listen to uh, Sister Lindsay, niece of Sister Joyce Josh. I didn't think I'd have to stand here again after almost 11 to 12 years. I'm sorry, I know you said just five minutes, but uh, I'm standing here on behalf of a few people, my mom and my uncle who are not able to be here at this time. I have a message from the siblings and of course from us cousins and our families who are unable to be here this morning. So reminiscing Joyce, on behalf of Joyce Mama's siblings, especially my mom and my old uncle who is in Edipali, both of them are unable to be here today. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Psalm 116 verse 15. You've all heard this, but I'd just like to say a few words from their side. With a family of four siblings, an older brother than myself, Joyce and Salama. From an early age, Joyce was a smart girl and she always said, Kochuma, even though you are older, I know everything. She always had a special way of doing things, very hospitable and good at entertaining people and managing the home. People who have stayed with her, including our cousin, Walson, was reminiscing the years he lived in their home and her servant heart that took care even of their smallest needs. She got married before me and moved to Bombay. Her home was open to all who went there and she made them always feel comfortable. She always maintained contact with all our relatives and friends and kept us all connected. She would keep us all well informed about each other and she was our connecting link. Her diabetes caused the amputation of a toe, and despite her physical restrictions, she still managed to move around with a walking stick and supervise the helpers in the kitchen. Her husband went to be with the Lord last year, and until the very end, she looked after him so lovingly, even as a wife, she found how best to do it. When my husband, Bei Chain, went to be with the Lord last year, she came down to Pune with Thomas and Blessy despite all her health issues. She found it extremely difficult to walk. She could not even walk down to Bible Center where the service was held and had to watch everything on live stream. She was such a huge support to me always. Within two weeks of my, home, my husband's home call, I had to leave for Australia. On our way out, we could stop over and spend a little time with Joyce. We continued to chat with each other almost every day, or it would be a frequent call. For both Sanichain and Salamama, the passing away of Joyce is a big loss for both of them. Personally, as she was a great support to both of them, especially after the passing away of both their spouses. Joyce kept them connected to the family and everyone else. She ensured that she would know everything what happened that they would know everything that happened within the family and outside that concerned them. She made time for a good morning and good night message every single day without a fail, without fail. Never a day passed by without her call to ensure that everything is well and to stay connected. Finally, we have the great hope that we will see our dear ones when we reach the other shore. Our heartfelt condolences to Thomas and the whole family. We thank God that Thomas was with Joyce in her last days and for enabling Thomas with wisdom and strength to manage everything beautifully. It's a big loss for all of us three siblings. 
she will surely be missed. Thank you to all the dear ones who have helped through this time. May God's name be glorified. I have a few loving words from the D'Souza sisters from Pune. Joyce auntie always had a smiling face. She loved our Lord and loved the neighbors. She always served with a cheerful heart. We will miss her. Thomas, you have been such a loving, kind and gentle son to your parents who faithfully served them till the end. You have also been a very caring brother to Matthews and his wife, Blessie, and a loving father to Johan. The Lord will fulfill his promise for those who honor their parents, that your days may be long and it will be well with you. Let the love of Christ continue to flow out of your heart and glorify our Heavenly Father. We love you all. And the last few thoughts is from all of us cousins. I'm really blessed to stand here in your midst and praise God for the family that we have been raised in. We miss seeing our grandparents, but those of them who know our grandparents say we have replicas like Joyce Mama, my mom, Sal Mama and her brother. I can confidently say that we belong, we cousins belong to a very loving and closely knit family. I'm actually a lookalike of Joyce Mama. She always used to tell me, Edi mole ni enne polea. And I used to kind of, you know, try to shy away and say, no, 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 I'm like my mother. But nobody who sees me say I lo look like anybody from my family except Joyce Mama. Our memories of Joyce Mama are very vivid, especially for my sister Linda and me, as we exchanged holidays from our childhood days. Very early days from as far as I can remember, we used to come regularly to be with our brothers in Bombay. A mama to all of us was always fun, talkative and had a heart, hearty laugh. We can never forget her infectious laugh, laughter of hers. She was an excellent cook and she always made sure that the table was full of food. She was hard working and always full of energy and cheerful. We were always well looked after and she really spoiled us with the goodies of every sort. She was very resilient and strong in God as she faced so many challenges over these years including the loss of Matthews so early and then through their ill health and struggles Achayan's passing away. She continued to face life with a smile and kept as active as she could, despite all the physical constraints. She cared deeply about people and her network of relatives and friends is large and kept connected, utilizing this ability well over these last few years. We have far too many memories to share, but all these will be treasured and cherished. You've left a legacy so many things we have learned to be a prayer, to be a prayerful mother, a parent, an aunt, and above all to have a loving heart and an open home. We are comforted in the hope of a sweet reunion as she rests beyond the pain and suffering of this early li earthly life. We will miss you dearly, our mama. Thank you. That loving words, you know, the love of a grandmother, grandfather, it's always special, it is always precious. And I always used to wonder, why is the love of grandparent, grandparents so uh, pure? Okay. And finally I found an answer sometime back. I realized that that is because it is a love without any expectations. Every other love, if you analyze, it is based on expectation. We love our children, we expect them to obey us, maybe take care of us when we grow old. We love our spouse in return. You know, we, there is always an expectation. But what is a grandparent loving their grandchild for? They don't expect anything. It is a free love. It is a pure love. And that is why it is so special. Uh, it was good to hear those words. And uh, many times get nostalgic feelings about our own grandparents. May pray God's name be glorified. 
Now we'll have a final eulogy from the grandson of uh, Sister Joyce George, Johan, Johan Matthew. morning uh, there's nothing more that I mean I was going through the eulogy I had typed and I was trying to make sure that I've, I have something I haven't already spoken about but uh, they've just covered everything but something that they missed is her wit if you spent enough time with her you know sh she can shut you up in a second doesn't take too long for her to just keep you quiet Anyway, good morning and thank you all for coming here. I speak on behalf of my sister who's in US. We gather here today to celebrate the life of a remarkable woman. She had a treasure trove of memories and lessons and she was a beacon of love, hospitality, acceptance and of course wit. A God-fearing woman and an epitome of unconditional love like uh, you just heard Uncle Manu say. Our grandparents and the bond that they share their children is obviously very no expectation, right? Grandchildren obviously expect something from the grandparents, but they don't. They just love you unconditionally without even thinking twice. I spent most of my childhood with uh, my grandparents in Bombay, Chamachi here. I was growing up with them. We were, uh, for the first seven years of my life, I was living. We were living with them, and every single day there was not a time when she wouldn't uh, make sure that I had, e even though my mother was making sure that I had eaten food and I was uh, well fed and well rested, but my grandmother was always there. She'd take me to her workplace. She'd let me come uh, on the bus journeys with her. Wherever she went, she'd make sure I went with her as well. And again, quite a lot of memories with her, but I can't speak about all of them right now. So some things that I'd like to point out were her heart knew no bounds and again her home was not just a home for the four people or five people including me that lived there. It was always open, an open door policy for everyone, either people in the society, church, relatives, friends, work, uh, colleagues, everyone. No one who entered her doors was a stranger for long and she had an uncanny ability to make everyone feel like a cherished part of her extended family. She had her way of making every meal or every simple meal feel like a feast. But if you know her, you know this lady never made simple meals. It was always a feast. You tell her, I want uh, maybe curd and rice. Sure, curd and rice, but there'll be beef, there'll be pork, there'll be chicken, there'll be fish, there'll be cutlet, there'll be everything. You ask for a simple meal, sure you get a simple meal, but no, it has to be with her twist in it. It could be any time of the day, 1 a.m., 5.30 a.m., before her work, after her work, she was never tired to cook or to host you. Right? She could be having work at 6 a.m. in the morning, has to leave for a bus at 6 a.m. in the morning, breakfast, and her sister is probably coming from Pune, or son is coming from wherever he is. There'd be breakfast, tea, milk, everything ready for everyone, irrespective of whether they were family or not immediate family. Like someone mentioned, she never complained about these either. And all my memories with her included Bible studies, lots of food, Loves, hugs, kisses, and pampering and how, right? Even when we moved to Navi Mumbai, she'd call on a daily basis. And I don't know from where she got these, but she'd have certain riddles to ask me every single day just to make sure that I'm not uh, going any dull or dumb than I was. And that continued for a good 24 years of my life because we, I was close to her in terms of our relationship and physical vicinity as well. But once I moved to Adelaide for my further studies, obviously keeping in touch was difficult with her. We tried to speak on every, uh, on an every third day basis, but that didn't work out. I was not too good at that. And we tried a weekly thing. Initially, I wasn't good at that as well, but she made sure that even if I forgot, even if I missed calling, she'd call, it to, she'd call me to a point where it became a habit. It became a practice where every Wednesday, that's the day I don't have my work or uni, we'd speak. And surely enough, it was Tuesday that she, <laughs> she passed away. Like, again, I've been meant, I've, like I mentioned, I've been blessed to share a tight relationship with my grandmother and it was overwhelming to hear her cheerfully talk about the progress that she had with her reports, her health reports in the last few months. She'd call saying, my creatinine is reduced or it's not reduced but it's consistent, the doctor is happy, I'm scared to go in the lift because the lift doesn't work. The doctor is happy but he said you don't need to come. 
every single week, all messages, there used to be, like, oh, I'm doing well, uh, I'm not eating a lot, I've lost 30 kilos of weight, regular updates about her health, and we spoke, whether it was text or call. Um, anyway, <laughs> the pain of this loss is definitely grave and indescribable. I will not be able to put into words how I felt or feel when I when I initially heard about her passing and then I stand here looking at her and speaking to you all about her as well. The world always says that, uh, I'm, I'm, I mean, among the many other things they keep talking about, you're never prepared for the sudden loss of a loved one, right? Especially if it's your parent or your grandparent. But fortunately, because we've been chosen by God to be his children, we've got something that they don't. We've got the peace of God. The peace of God that surpasses all us understanding and as And it is that peace of God that will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. I leave you with this one thing about Amuchi. She had open God which gave her peace. She felt secure. The only thing you need to remember about her is her hostility, her physical mannerisms, everything. But she died knowing where she was going. And I pray, I thank God for that. Thank you. Thank you, Johan, for sharing from your life. Uh, and uh, we are closing the URG session here. As we are blessed to hear about many things about dear Ranti, dear Amachi. Now, one thing that strikes throughout all the messages is that how satisfied she was with her life. Now, when we remember her, when we look back, we all know that she went through a lot of difficulties personally, losses on her near and dear ones with her uh, health. But one thing that strikes is that she was always cheerful. It's not that she was superhuman. She had her human uh, weaknesses, uh, pains, sufferings, uh, bouts of you know, sadness. But in spite of all that, she was able to fight it. So in one word, if I can describe, she was basically a fighter. She fought well. As I was mentioning in the first verse also, she fought well. Uh, may God bless each one of us. Now we'll listen to the word of God. Before that, we'll have a song. The first song uh, in the leaflet. And after the song, uh, I'll request Brother Samuel John to uh, Rai Chayan to kindly come forward and pray for the message. And we have the uh, word of God. Uh, brought to us by evangelist George Matthew. Uh, may we have a song. <clears throat> song number one. All can join me. I'm not keeping well, so I request everybody to join. Yenishunathani, Yenashani, Yenalumanil, Nimadi, Yenishunathani, Yenashani, Yenalumanil, Nimadi. Arum Sahayam Illa de Paril Param Nirashil Nirum Nirum Arum Sahayam Illa de Paril Param Nirashil Nirum Nirum Kaitanga leguan, Kanu nir to the pan, Kartave ni alla, Tarumilla. Kaitanga leguan, Kanu nir to the pan, Kartave ni alla, Tarumilla. Yeneshunathane, 
എന്നാശനീയേ എന്നാളും മന്നിൽ നിമതിയേ ഉറ്റവർ സ്നേഹം അറ്റുപോയാലും ഏറ്റം പ്രിയ വിട്ടു മാറിയാലും ഉറ്റവർ സ്നേഹം അറ്റുപോയാലും ഏറ്റം പ്രിയ വിട്ടു മാറിയാലും മാറ്റമില്ലാത്ത മിത്രം നീ മാത്രം മറ്റരുമില്ല പ്രണപ്രിയ മാറ്റമില്ലാത്ത മിത്രം നീ മാത്രം മറ്റരുമില്ല പ്രണപ്രിയ എന്നേശുനാഥനെ എന്നാശനീയേ എന്നാളും മന്നിൽ നിമതിയേ എന്നാളും മന്നിൽ നിമതിയേ ഒരു വാക്ക് മാത്രം ഞാൻ ജോയ്സ് വണ്ടി പറയാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുകയാണ് ജോയ്സുമാടെ മൂത്ത സോരി പുനയിലായിരുന്ന പ്രിയ ലിസാൻ്റി മോഹനമാണ് ഞങ്ങൾ അനു കഴിഞ്ഞതാണ്ട് അൻപത് വർഷത്തോളമായിട്ട് നാൽപ്പത്തഞ്ച് വർഷം അൻപത് അൻപത് വർഷമായിട്ട് പ്രിയ ജോയ്സമ്മയെ പരിചയപ്പെടുന്നതിനും പല സന്ദർഭങ്ങളിലെ ബോംബേയിൽ വെച്ചും പുനയിൽ വെച്ചും കാണുന്നതിനൊക്കെ സഹായിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞ ദിവസങ്ങളായി നിങ്ങൾ ഞാൻ ഒന്ന് കാണുന്ന ആഗ്രഹിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞ ശനിയാഴ്ച ഞാൻ കടന്നുപോയി ജോയ്സമ്മ ഞങ്ങളൊന്ന് ഭാഗത്തിൽ കടന്നുപോയി താമസം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഞങ്ങൾ ഒളിച്ച് അല്പസമയം സ്പെൻഡ് ചെയ്തു ഇവിടെ ഓർപ്പിച്ചതുപോലെ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ആവശ്യമായ പലഹാരങ്ങൾ തന്നു സന്തോഷമായിട്ട് സ്നേഹ ചുമ്മൽ ഞങ്ങൾ പിരിഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ ചോദിച്ചൊരു ഫോട്ടോ എടുത്തേട്ടെന്ന് ചോദിച്ചു ആ ഫോട്ടോ ആണ് ഇന്നിവിടെ കാണുന്ന ഈ ഫോട്ടോ അങ്ങനെ എനിക്ക് വളരെ സന്തോഷമുണ്ട് ജോയ്സ് അവിടെ ജീവിതത്തിനായിട്ട് കഴിഞ്ഞ നാളിൽ കേട്ടതുപോലെ വളരെ സത്യമായ കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് ഇവിടെ കേട്ടത് ആ നില്ല ഈ അമ്മ പരിചയപ്പെടാനും സ്നേഹം വന്ന് ഇത്രത്തോളം നിലനിർത്താൻ കർത്താവ് സഹായിച്ചു ഇന്ന് പിന്നെയും കടന്നു വന്ന ഈ സുഹൃത്തിൽ സമിതി പാനോൺ ദൈവം എനിക്ക് സഹായിച്ചു അതിന് ദൈവത്തെ ആസ്വദിക്കുന്നു പ്രിയ ജോയ്സ് നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിനായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് ദൈവത്തെ ആസ്വദിക്കാം ദൈവത്തെ മാറ്റപ്പെടുന്നു നമുക്ക് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം ഞങ്ങളുടെ സ്നേഹമാണ് ദൈവമേ ഞങ്ങളങ്ങ് ആസ്വദിക്കുന്നു മാറ്റപ്പെടുന്നു കർത്താവിൽ മരിക്കുന്ന മൃതന്മാർ ഭാഗ്യന്മാർ ഞങ്ങൾ വായിക്കുന്നു ആ നിലയിൽ ഇവിടെയുള്ള ജീവിതത്തിനായി സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്ന കഴിഞ്ഞ ദീർഘ വർഷങ്ങൾ ഈ ഭൂമിയിൽ ജീവിച്ചിരുന്നുകൊണ്ട് കർത്താവിനെ സ്നേഹിപ്പാനും ദൈവമക്കളെ സ്നേഹിപ്പാനും അതുപോലെ കർത്താവിൻ്റെ സുഷൽ പങ്കുവയ്പ്പാനൊക്കെ കർത്താവ് കൊടുത്ത് കുറേക്കായി സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു മക്കളെ കൊടുത്തു അവരുടെ ജീവിതത്തിനായി സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്തു കൊച്ചുമക്കളെ കൊടുത്താൽ ഞങ്ങൾ അങ്ങ് സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു കർത്താവിൻ്റെ സഭയുള്ള ബന്ധത്തിൽ ആ തൻ്റെ സുഷൽ ചുവപ്പ് തീർപ്പാനും കർത്താവ് കൊടുത്ത് കുറേക്കായി സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു തക്ക സമയത്ത് അവിടുത്തെ സ്ഥലത്തേക്ക് വിളിച്ച് വേറെ അവിടുത്തെ പ്രസാദിച്ചനായി സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു കർത്താവ് കർത്താവ് വന്നില്ലേ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ധരിക്കുന്ന സമാധാനത്തിനായി സന്തോഷത്തിനായി സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു പ്രത്യേകം മക്കൾക്കും കൊച്ചുമ്മൾക്കും ഒക്കെയും കടന്നു വന്ന് ഇങ്ങനെ അരിപ്പാനും സന്തോഷിപ്പാനും ഈ സുഷൽ പങ്കെടുപ്പാനും ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇത്രത്തോളം ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിച്ചനായി സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു അല്പസമയം ഞങ്ങൾ അവിടുത്തെ സ്ഥലത്തിരിക്കുകയാണ് കർത്താവ് അവിടെ ഞങ്ങൾ വന സുകൽപ്പാനുകൂടെ നല്ല ദാസനെ ബലപ്പെടുത്തിനായി സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു ആ നിലയിൽ ഞങ്ങൾ കേൾക്കുന്ന വാനം ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഓരോരുത്തരെയും അനുഗ്രഹത്തിനും തന്നെയുമല്ല സമാധാനത്തിന് സന്തോഷത്തിന് കാരണത്തിൽ സാധനം പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് വലിയ പ്രത്യാശയായ സ്തോത്രം പിന്നെ ഞാൻ പിന്നെ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് കർത്താവിൻ്റെ വീണു പറയൽ പ്രിയ മകളെ കണ്ട് സന്തോഷിപ്പാനുള്ള ആ പ്രത്യാശയോടെ ഞങ്ങളെ അവിടുത്തെ സ്ഥലത്ത് തുടരുകയാണ് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് നല്ല സമയത്തിനായ സ്തോത്രം കടന്നു വന്ന എല്ലാ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട സ്തോത്രം ശുശ്രൂഷേത്രം അനുഗ്രഹിച്ചനായ സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു പ്രിയ മനുവിനും ഈ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ ലീഡുകാനും കൊടുത്ത് കുറേക്കെ ഞങ്ങൾ അങ്ങ് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുന്നു ശുശ്രൂഷയിലെ ശുശ്രൂഷിച്ച എല്ലാ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുകയാണ് പ്രാർത്ഥന അനുഗ്രഹനായ സ്തോത്രം പ്രിയ മകളുടെ ജീവിതത്തിനായി ഞങ്ങൾ വീണ്ടും അങ്ങേ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കുന്നു പ്രാർത്ഥനയായ സ്തോത്രം എല്ലാം ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ജീവിച്ച ക്രിസ്തുവേഷനകത്തെ അപേക്ഷിക്കുന്നു കൃപ വന്ന് കേൾക്കുവാറാകണമേ ആമീൻ
Let the Lord's name be glorified. After hearing all the eulogies, one thing came into my mind. You know, most of you know Andy Joyce. But I am one person who knows very little about her. And I think now I miss her. All those love and uh, hospitality and caring. I was in Navy and uh, when I retired from Navy for the Lord's work, I came to this small village called Uran. The problem with Oran is that nobody comes and visits us and uh, the place is so remote that we hardly get an opportunity to meet people and if at all we meet it is in such occasions where uh, the focus is upon somebody else. And truly when uh, many of you stood over here and said all the experience you had with Amama, I think uh, I am one person who would miss all of you because most of you are so nice but never had an opportunity to really mingle and uh, receive your love or not even to give my love. So I don't know whether it is fitting to say but I want to say please come to Uran. At least please call you, call us to your home. <laughs> we would like to come. So that whenever you make me stand in such an occasion, I may not be left alone. One special verse came into my heart. Uri Vakyam. Davudine Kurche, Shamuel, Shaulinodu Paranada. One verse, one word which Samuel said to Saul about David. I want to read it for you. That verse is, goes like this. 1 Samuel chapter 13, verse 14. Devam Yehova Tanikai Bodicha Uri Purishane Teranyatirikano. In English we read like this Lord has sought him a man after his own heart. Once I will explain why God said that about David, you will understand. What's the relation with that verse with Dear Amama. Why God said about David this special verse? That he is a man after God's own heart. What is that exactly? We don't want to be guessing and assuming. You know if a doctor says that you have a problem, you need to start your treatment. We will not just listen to that and leave. We will say what's my problem? Well that's uh, somewhere in your body. <laughs> that's not enough we would again and again ask what's my exact problem if he says cancer will we just listen to it and go no we will say what kind of cancer where is it how is it what is the stage now God is saying that David is a man after God's own heart how why where when now why it is important it is important because in the New Testament about the church, about God's children, the word of God again says, we have the mind of Christ. Now David has the heart of God, we have the mind of Christ. What's that? Again. We have to have God's mind. We have to be like David, but we have no clue what David's heart is. You know, David has a special quality of valuing each and every person. My time is limited. I was actually asked to speak in two languages at least. I don't know whether I will be able to do it. David used to value Davidana oru vektikalayim velamadikkiwan specially kadiyum ayirunnu. Annu phone illathada avarude oka bhagyam. You know when Saul died, when Jonathan died, the way he cried, mourned, tore his clothes. When Absalom died, when Amnon died, I want you to go home, read those verses. About Amnon it is written, he would grieve, he would grieve every day. Allah divasavam karayu 
നമുക്ക് ഇപ്പൊ തന്നെ ചിരിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നുണ്ടല്ലേ ബട്ട് ഹീ വുഡ് ക്രൈ ആഫ്റ്റർ അം നോ സോറോ വ സ്ലൈറ്റ്ലി യു നോ കമ്മിങ് ഡൗൺ ഹി സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് തിങ്കിങ് അബൌട്ട് അബ്സാലോ ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു സീ മൈ അബ്സാലോ and when absalom died what did he say oh if instead of absalom if i would have died yan manishirundengil you know how he valued now you may say brother these are children these are his own children after all you know how many children david have this is not the time to give kiss and all but still david had 19 children plus one whose name is not mentioned he died as soon as he was born within few days but david could love each one so deeply which we need to understand that love was not limited to his own children when you know uh saul's uh captain or who later became david's friend that very first day he was he made a deal with david the very day job killed him who was he abner the way david cried for abner the way he made others to cry he said you all should mourn everybody should cry but there was some unique thing over there by the time it was evening you know some of his relatives his friends came to david saying uh, please have some food you know what he said i will not have before the sun sets and if i do so let the lord punish me but normally in our funeral what happens yeah and so as the funeral is over we normally arrange some tea or snacks i'm not against that what i mean to say it look at david's way of valuing each soul now why this is important this is important because that's why god came in the man of in the form of a man and came into this world that's why adondana manushane velamadikkuvan devathine kariyunnathu kondana devam manushanai bhoomiyil vannathu angane ulla oru purushane devam kandathippala parnathu i found one i found one but about the church the word of god is saying we all need to have that mind and if you don't have let me say this one thing give me one purpose of your existence in this world other than reaching others with the gospel give me one reason one reason that why you exist in this world other than reaching others with the love of god deiva sneham ettikkuvan alla oru nyayamaya kaaranam parayamo ek vajah mujhe de taki aap ye bata sake ki susamajhar dene ke alawa इन इन कारणों की वजह से प्रभु ने मुझे यहां रखा है मेरे बेटा का शादी हो जाए इन मोन का कल्याण अलग पढ़ अलग ऐसे Uh, uh, let me get my pension first and then I can die. Give me one solid reason which God will approve you that this is why I have kept you. I want you to know this one thing. Church is here for the world. for the lost that you may reach them with the love of god you need to understand that i don't have much time but please ponder about it think about it and every action everything we do should one way or the other meet this purpose of god which he has in his mind, his mind for you namakku vendi devam vechirikkunna ee oru uddeshathine ഒരു വിധത്തിൽ അല്ലെ മറ്റൊരു വിധത്തിൽ കണക്റ്റ് ആയേ പറ്റുകയുള്ളൂ ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ നിന്നെ ഇവിടെ ഭൂമിയിൽ നിങ്ങളെ ഇവിടെ ഭൂമിയിൽ നമ്മളെ ഇവിടെ ഭൂമിയിൽ സഭ ഇവിടെ ഭൂമിയിൽ വെക്കാൻ വേറെ ഒരു കാരണവുമില്ല സഭ എടുക്കപ്പെട്ട ഉടനെ പിന്നെ എന്തുവാ പിന്നെ പിന്നെ ട്രിബുലേഷനാ അവിടെയും ഗോസ്ബൽ ഉണ്ട് അത് വേറൊരു വിധത്തിൽ ഞാൻ പറയാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്ന കാര്യം ദാറ്റ് മേക്സ് ജോയ് സമ സ്പെഷ്യൽ ദാറ്റ് മേക്സ് ഹൗ you know she could uh, think about you and me how she could call what makes the difference the value of a person the value of a person you know the word of god says that god created man a little lower than the angel what does it mean doodanmare kaattilum or alpam 
മാത്രം താഴ്ത്തി നമ്മളെ സൃഷ്ടിച്ചു അല്പമാണോ താത്തിയെ അത് പറഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾക്കെല്ലാം ദൈവത്തോട് എഗ്രി ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുമോ ഡു വിൽ യു എഗ്രി വിത്ത് ഗോഡ് വെൻ ഗോഡ് സെയ്സ് ഐ ഹാവ് മെയ്ഡ് എ ലിറ്റിൽ ലോവർ ദാൻ ദി ഏഞ്ചൽ ഡു യു എഗ്രി വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് ആൻ ഏഞ്ചൽ ക്യാൻ കിൽ മോർ ദാൻ വൺ ലാക്ക് എയ്റ്റി ഫൈവ് തൗസൻഡ് പീപ്പിൾ വൺ വൺസ് അറ്റ് വൺസ് an angel can fly an angel is kind of holy angel goes to heaven angel can i i drive a bit fast so i always used to say if i drive in 140 km speed how fast the angel has to fly with me if he has to protect me but how come the word of god is saying that i have been created a little lower than the angel what does it mean you know an angel has a spirit and i have a spirit the value of a spirit is so big that all these differences which i mentioned is little is it clear if i bring a diamond costing 2 crore two diamonds one i just cover it in a tissue paper and give it to you the other i will cap, uh, keep it in a very good uh, you know uh, box which normally diamonds are kept and then give it to you so i can say this is little lower sorry this is little lower but what's the real cost the covering of course this difference is there but the cost is 2 crore that's the cost the cost of the spirit atmavinte vela atmavinte vela adondana priyamulavare kartavinu kushtarogi ayalum madhi bikshakaran ayalum vidave ayalum madhi aa atmavinte vela ya devam kaanunnathu if that's the way we would look outside ഒരു വ്യക്തിയെ കാണുമ്പോൾ എന്തായിരിക്കണം എൻ്റെ ഹൃദയത്തിലൂടെ കടന്നു പോകേണ്ടത് വെൻ ഐ സി എ പേഴ്സൺ വാട്ട് ഷുഡ് ഗോ ത്രൂ മൈ മൈൻഡ് വാട്ട് നോർമലി ഗോസ് ത്രൂ അവർ മൈൻഡ് ദ കവറിങ് ദ കവറിങ് ദ ഡ്രസ് ദ കളർ ദ സോ കോൾഡ് യു നോ ലാംഗ്വേജ് ലിറ്ററേച്ചർ ഓർ എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ക്വാളിഫിക്കേഷൻ പോസ്റ്റ് ഹി ഹി വാസ് ദറ്റ് ആൻഡ് സച്ച് ആൻഡ് സച്ച് the covering that's what we all say this is tissue paper and this is a super box that's what we say the difference even from an angel to a man god says little difference and we say great difference rubbish when it comes here why why the death of a saint is precious why the death of a saint is precious ezekiel 33 verse 11 അവിടെ പറയുന്നത് ഈ ദുഷ്ടന്മാരുടെ മരണത്തിൽ ദൈവത്തിന് പ്രസാദമില്ലെന്ന എന്ന് വെച്ചാ എന്ന് വെച്ചാ അവൻ മരിക്കരുത് ഭക്തന്മാരുടെ മരണത്തിലോ ദൈവത്തിന് വലിയ പ്രസാദമാ എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഭക്തൻ മരിക്കുമ്പോഴേ ഇങ്ങനെ പ്രസംഗിക്കാൻ പറ്റൂ ഭക്തൻ മരിക്കുമ്പോഴേ ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള സാക്ഷ്യങ്ങൾ പറയാൻ പറ്റൂ ഓൺലി വെൻ എ സെയിം ഡൈസ് സച്ച് തിങ് സച്ച് വേർഡ് സച്ച് ഐഡിയസ് കുഡ് ബി ബ്രോട്ട് otherwise i will have to say a lie you know big big lies about uh, amama but here we can speak about the truth and then the hope and then the hope so today i really have a message for you the message is as she valued every person every person every person do we know the name of our neighbor then when we will give gospel we normally teach our children don't receive anything from strangers nammala ayilvukkarumayitta strangers aayitta jeevikkune ennattu christmas 25 ku sabayada program aanu paranjond gospel kudukkan chellum strangers nayinu onnum medikirunnu nammal paranjirikkune you want to give gospel to somebody befriend him avanu vaayittu oru 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 bandham sthapikkya and then share the gospel ee bhoomil dear premier angel was saying we are of same year but i am left we all are left here for one and only purpose i am not i am not saying anything more or anything less it is true it is true one more words matthew chapter 10 there we read in verse 16 i guess the lord is saying something which which actually is dangerous you know what the lord is saying i sent you like sheep to the midst of the wolves be harmless like a dove and wise like a serpent are you happy with that verse what lord you are sending the sheep 
into the midst of the walls. So what's going to happen? Obviously. What's going to happen? They are going to tear you apart. Ninek parche ke ram bohgiya. Good shepherd bariya. Nalle idem bariya. Good shepherd is saying, I am sending you like a sheep into the midst, not only close to the walls, into the midst of the walls. For what? For what? Lord, don't you know that we will die? But son, if you die, you will come to me. If they die, they will perish. So they should not die. You can die. That's the kind of love God has for each soul. I don't think this is good news for you. The moment we think about giving gospel or going for outreach, the first thing we pray is that protection. But he is sending us to into the midst of the walls and warning us to be like a dove and wise like a serpent. You know for what? Hurt not my walls. Are you getting the message? Hurt not my walls. The sheep can die. That the walls should not die. Wicked should not die. Dushtan marikya baadila. Aman sushashan ke tund rikanam. The saint, the death of a saint is precious. We are guilty of not valuing souls. And this amama today has reminded this thing that every moment of a believer, of a child of God is to be with the heart of Christ. David. The plague was coming and destroying the whole Israel. What did David say? It's me. Let thy wrath be poured upon me. These people have done nothing. I am the person who numbered. That should be our heart. And this day is a wonderful day I would say. As dear brother was mentioning. We are here to remember and celebrate. But will we be really look back into our own life and say, Oh Lord, thank you very much for giving me thy heart, love for souls. That the Lord help us, bless us, and especially convey our condolences, our families, and even in our church, uh, condolences to the grieving family. Let the Lord's name be glorified. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, dear brother George, for reminding us about that one thing that somehow we overlooked about valuing others and how much she valued. I was just remembering that she came to New Bombay only 20, 12 years back, but there will be hardly any uh, shopkeeper or any hotel guy whom she hasn't interacted with. You know? she, everyone was on her fingertip. Every call, even before all these swiggies and somatos and home delivery happened, she had connection with almost everyone, even in New Mumbai and yesterday in the eulogy, I think it was uh, uh, someone was bringing out that sitting in, Chem in Washi, she was organizing things in Chembur, you know, uh, organizing people, organizing uh, things, uh, delivering things. She had a good connection and as Angel was really uh, pointing out, the value and anyone who interacted with her, why we all remember her is because we all felt valuable. We all felt important uh, when we interacted with her. She never made anyone look down. Anyone felt insignificant. And that is the reason uh, we had so much of good things to hear today and uh, let that be a teaching for each one of us. And it was reminded also that we need to reach out to the souls and why we are kept here. The question is why auntie is taken or why anyone is uh, dead because that is precious to God. The question is why we are here, so that we can spread his love to the people. Our meeting in this hall is nearing an end. Uh, we will have a song, the final song in this hall. And after that, I will request Brother Thomas George, the elder son of George George, to deliver the word of thanks. Now we we'll listen to the uh, song, uh, the Malayalam song. Uh,
കണ്ടിടും മറുവിലയായി തന്നവനേ സ്വർണത്തെരുവിൽ വീണ്ടും കാണും പ്രിയനെ ആദിനത്തിൽ മറുകരയിൽ നാം കണ്ടിടും മറുവിലയായി തന്നവനേ സ്വർണത്തെരുവിൽ വീണ്ടും കാണും ിയത്തിൽ മുറവിളിയും ദുഃഖവുമില്ല പുത്തനെരുഷലേ നഗരമതിൽ പൊൻപുലരി ഒത്തുചേർന്നു പൊന്നേശുവിനെ പുകഴ്ത്താ മുറവിളിയും ദുഃഖവുമില്ല പുത്തൻ എരുഷലെ നഗരമതിൽ പൊൻപുലരി ഒത്തുചേന്നു പൊന്നേശുവിനെ പുകഴ്ത്താ മറുകരയിൽ നാം കണ്ടിടും മറുവിലയായി തന്നവനെ സ്വർണത്തെരുവിൽ വീണ്ടും കാണും പ്രിയനെ ആദിനത്തിൽ ലോകെ കഷ്ടങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിലും ധൈര്യപ്പെടുവി എന്നുരച്ചോ ആത്മനിറവിൻ സാന്നിധ്യത്തിൽ നടത്തിടുമതീശയമാ ലോകെ കഷ്ടങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിലും ധൈര്യപ്പെടുവിൻ എന്നുരച്ചോ ആത്മനിറവിൻ സാന്നിധ്യത്തിൽ നടത്തിടും അതിശയമായി മറുകരയിൽ നാം കണ്ടിടും മറുവിലയായി തന്നവനെ സ്വർണത്തെരുവിൽ വീണ്ടും കാണും പ്രിയനെ ആദിനത്തിൽ സ്വർണത്തെരുവിൽ വീണ്ടും കാണും പ്രിയരെ ആദിനത്തിൽ I'll start with a verse. It's not a verbatim uh, statement. Uh, the first statement that I want to make is, uh, what the God says is, my grace is sufficient for thee. And the next thing that I also remember is, that I'll never test you beyond what you can handle. So I hope this is the last time I would have to stand like this and say a thanksgiving for an occasion like this. so with this uh, first of all uh, thanks to god and for the weather so though it has rain i had the confidence that you know as we will go to lower the uh, the coffin it will not rain and i know it will be that way so uh, thanks to god thanks to god for my mother in our life in the life of uh, myself my brother my wife blessy joan my daughter 
Jasmine and GB. So she has been a great influence in her own way. She has worked and you know made made the difference for us. Uh, I want to thank the Washi Assembly and the Hebron Assembly specifically, uh, you know, for all that time. They've been praying, they've been visiting, and you know, and there has been very, very timely visits. And all of you must have heard that mommy used to, uh, you know, call everyone and, you know, invariably I would never be left out. That's to be assumed and it's the truth. Every day evening, somewhere between 7 and 9 is when I would have my time with mommy and I'll get complete updates for every single thing that has happened around. So maybe if I have not been in touch with all of you, it's not, but do remember that I used to get message, everything that happened in and around this place through her every day, every single day. So hopefully going forward, uh, maybe I would may try to live up to the, what she did. So once again, thanks to Washi and the Hebron Assembly for what you've been in her life. Uh, I'm going to take some names there in some random order. It's nothing, nothing has got a predominance over the other. It's, I'm just going to say thanks to a lot of people. I may miss a few. Don't be, you know, offended or hurt. Forgive me because it is difficult standing and in a situation like this, you will end up forgetting something or the other. So thank you, Sam and uh, Swapna for all the help that you've given us. AB and Stella, AB is not here, so he's been in a pillar of help for me at all points in time. Joe, for all the help that you have given. Manu, the way you have handled uh, the entire family and your eulogy and the way you spoke and the way you conducted this, thank you for it. Thank you, Benoit, for taking the time and coming down. Thank you, Achacha, for make, taking the time and coming. Thank you, Lindsay, for coming and speaking. Thank you, Karen Crossy, for coming here and uh, being with us. Rajmama, Tangamama, Salamama, Colin, Carol, for all of you. I may, I can go on and on. So, with the relation, immediate relation, I'm stopping. But uh, then. I also, uh, you know, thank God for helping it uh, or making it uh, happen for Johan to be here at this point in time. My daughter, definitely uh, Jasmine, would have been, would have wanted to be here along with JB, but given she's in the family way, with a heavy heart, we had to ask her to stay back and not be here. So, and I want to also thank uh, Shibu from Bethel Media, who's helped us with the video streaming. I hope all of you have seen it correctly. Uh, Mayur from Sachin Decorators for what you have done here. I don't know whether Mayur is here or not. Uh, there is Marina Caterers who have brought the food here. Now, irrespective of what opinion anyone will hold, I hold a simple view that my mother was an hospital per person and irrespective of the situation in her life, she would want every person to be treated with a certain kind of hospitality and respect. This is exactly how she would have wanted it to end. So please, after the uh, service is over, there is meals provided. You may want to eat it here, you're free, or you may please take it along with you. But we will try to creep that legacy of her on, that she was hospitable, which is what everyone said, and we will continue to keep that on. And finally, I say thanks to my wife, Shali, for being my pillar of support, and my daughter, Jasmine, you know, who did definitely call, and uh, Jibby for being my pillars of support all throughout, irrespective of what decisions I took. Many a times I have not consulted them, I have acted because I knew it was the right decision, but they always stood with me. And there are some few friends of mine who are standing behind. Last 20 years, uh, they've been part of my life. They have shaped, in many ways shaped me. So thanks to them. 
I also say thanks to Linda and uh, Lissy Mama. I miss them. So Lissy Mama, who's been a very great influence in our lives, mine and uh, Matthew's. So Mama, I know you couldn't come here, but I know your prayers are here. And I know the prayers of a lot of saints are here. And that's why we are seeing this kind of a weather here. So thank you all once again. And if I missed anyone, do forgive me. I'm here. If I, I'll definitely come and try to meet each one of you personally. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas, brother, for those kind words. Uh, the session here in this hall has come to an end. Uh, we'll have a closing prayer. Uh, I have a special request to make uh, in the sense like, kindly remember this family in your prayers. Uh, last year, we, uh, we buried the mortal remains of George Abhijan. At that time, they all knew that Joy Mama is there. But now we are uh, burying her remains. And the void uh, everyone is going to feel, you know, the hearts will crumble down in some time. And when they reach back, as the low sets in, that is when it will actually kick in. So I request all of us as uh, believers, as children of God, to kindly remember this uh, dear family in our prayers, so that God will give them grace and the void will be filled with the heavenly peace. May I request uh, Brother Biju John uh, to come kind forward and close this session here in prayer. After that, I'll make some few announcements and then we'll take the body for the burial. Before we close in prayer, for all those who have come here, there's a verse which gives us a lot of comfort, hope. Please read that once more. Those who believe in me, even though they die, they will live. Ennil vishusikino and marichalam jivikim. So let's close this meeting with a word of prayer, committing all those who are here and all those who have to be comforted to the hands of the mighty God. Let's close in prayer. Our dear God, our Heavenly Father, you are a shepherd, you are a guide, you are a comforter. We thank you for your presence in our midst in this morning where we are gathered to say bye-bye to our dear Auntie Joyce. We thank you because you are the God of love. You are the God of light and you are the God of life. You gave us life and we all came into this world but one day you will call us home and it pleased thee, O oh Master, to call thy dear child home in your time and in your plan. Our lives are in your hand and as we look back, we thank you for this life of dear Auntie Joyce and we rejoice in you that she was your child and she was a person who was full of joy, who was full of love, who was full of kindness, who was full of hospitality and she was interested in uh, family and all dear ones and we always enjoyed her presence. But now she is enjoying your presence, absent from the body but present with Christ. We take comfort in the fact that we will see her once again. You will return very soon and all those who believe will be caught up but the death in Christ shall rise first and we will all be together and never to be separated. Today in this life we have sorrow, we have pain, the pain of parting, but the joy of your imminent return and the joy of being together again fills our heart today. We give thee thanks for all your blessings and that all dear ones could come and be here today and we pray for all uh, Joyce and his siblings, we pray for George Odisha and siblings, we pray for especially for Jasmine and Jibby who are away in US, we pray for them, comfort them, we pray for Johan that he could come here on time and we thank you that you have made him strong and we pray that you may bless them. We pray for 
Thomas and Shali, and uh, we pray that you may fill their hearts with your comfort. And also we pray for uh, Blessy also. We pray that you may also comfort all of them as a family. But we rejoice in the fact that we will see Amama once again. Lord, as we are seated here, we commit each other into thy mighty hands, Lord. We can say with confidence, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? We thank you, God, O Lord Jesus Christ, because you are the resurrection and the life. And we thank you very, uh, fr uh, from, from, uh, very much from the bottom of our hearts, because once we are together, the joy of your presence will fill everything else, which is sorrow or pain of parting. Until that time, keep us faithful. Lord, thank you for being with us today, helping in all the proceedings. And we pray that you may be with us. Thank you for the rain and thank you for the rain being kept away for the final part of when we put this body into the dust. Lord, we are all created by dust. And one day we will all return to dust. But then there is a glory land and the glorious body which you are keeping for us in the future. We give thee thanks, praise and worship and be with all the proceedings that follow. We ask this prayer to send us with your comfort and your love that we may live for you. We ask this prayer in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, brother, for the closing prayers. And thank you, everyone, for patiently and prayerfully attending this service. I have a few announcements to make. Kindly be seated. The next few minutes, uh, we would spend to pay our final tributes to our dear sister. Song shall be played in the background. Uh, ten minutes we will take for viewing her body. And then we will take the body to the burial ground. Uh, the hall is there really, very right nearby. And we will be singing the, the final song in that leaflet. Uh, and uh, at the grave uh, one brother would be praying and after lowering the body we will have the final prayer and with the benediction now as uh, Thomas was also pointing out uh, one word that is synonymous with dear sister, dear uh, Joy Samachi would be hospitality she made sure that everyone visiting her should be well fed hence after the service as it was reminded as a tribute to her loving soul, a proper lunch as a takeaway, packets are arranged by the family. Please take part in this gesture of love as well. Once again, thank you everyone for your time and presence here. May God bless you all. Now we may spend time uh, viewing the body.
play, you can play. Give me that.
தேவாதி தேவன் சர்வத்தே தன் கூடாரம் வீசுத்தர்மத்தியத்திலும் என்னே குமவர் தன்னை கண்டு மோதா என்னே குமவர் தன்னை கண்டு மோதா அல்லே லுய பாடு அல்லே லுய பாடு அல்லே லுய பாடு நித்தியுகத்தில் அல்லே லுய பாடு அல்லே லுய பாடு அல்லே லுய பாடு நித்தியுகத்தில் கர்த்தாவுதங்கம்பீர நாதத்தோடும் பிரதான தெய்வ துதர்ஷத்தோடும் சொர்க்கத்தில் நின்னீரங்கி வந்தேடும்போ சொர்க்கத்தில் நின்னீரங்கி வந்தேடும்போ எத்தேயோ சந்தோஷம் எத்தேயோ சந்தோஷம் எத்தேயோ சந்தோஷம் மத்தியாகாசத்தில் எத்தேயோ சந்தோஷம் எத்தேயோ சந்தோஷம் எத்தேயோ சந்தோஷம் மத்தியாகாசத்தில் தீரும் காலவும் புத்த 
ಮದನ ಮೇರು ಚಲಿ ಮಿಲ್ಕಿ ತುಂಗಾಲ ಮೂರ್ತುಂಬೋ ಇತರೆಯಿಂ ಕೇದ ಮೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಜು ಬೋಗುಂದಿ ಕಷ್ಟದ ಪಟ್ಟಿಣಿ ಇಲ್ಲಾತ ನಾಟಿಲ್ ನಾ ಕರ್ತಾವುರುಕುಂದ ಸಂತೋಷ ವೀಟಿಲ್ ನಾ ಕಷ್ಟದ ಪಟ್ಟಿಣಿ ಇಲ್ಲಾತ ನಾಟಿಲ್ ನಾ ಕರ್ತಾವುರುಕುಂದ ಸಂತೋಷ ವೀಟಿಲ್ ನಾ ತೇಜಸ್ಸೇರು ಮೋಹನ ಕಿರೀಡಂಗ ಧರಿಚು ನಾಮ ರಾಜರಾಜನೇಶುವೋಡೆ ವಾಳು ಮೇ ತೇಜಸ್ಸೇರು ಮೋಹನ ಕಿರೀಡಂಗ ಧರಿಚು ನಾಮ ರಾಜರಾಜನೇಶುವೋಡೆ ವಾಳು ಮೇ ಪುತ್ತನ ಮೇರು ಶಲೆ ಮಿಲ್ಕೆತ್ತಂ ಕಾಲ
പഥത്തിൽ ഞാൻ സ്വർഗയാത്ര ചെയ്യുന്നു എൻ സ്വദേശം കാൺമതിനായി ഞാൻ തനിയേ പോകുന്നു സമയമാം രഥത്തിൽ ഞാൻ സ്വർഗയാത്ര ചെയ്യുന്നു എൻ സ്വദേശം കാൺമതിനായി ഞാൻ തനിയേ പോകുന്നു ിക മാത്രം ഈയുടുപ്പു മാറ്റുവാൻ സമയമാം രഥത്തിൽ ഞാൻ സ്വർഗയാത്ര ചെയ്യുന്നു എൻ സ്വദേശം കാൺമതിനായി ഞാൻ തനിയേ പോകുന്നു ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ കൈകളിൽ ഉറങ്ങുന്നു അപ്പോഴൂമൻ രഥത്തിൻ്റെ ചക്രം മുൻപോ തോടുന്നു സമയമാം രഥത്തിൽ ഞാൻ സ്വർഗയാത്ര ചെയ്യുന്നു സ്വദേശം കാൺമതിനായി ഞാൻ തനിയേ പോകുന്നു രാവിലെ ഞാൻ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ കൈകളിൽ ഉണരുന്നു Thank you Lord for all those who are present here and we commit everybody and you thy hands Lord. Once again Lord we, uh, we thank thee for the blessed and the living hope you have granted us. Lord thank you mm. for hearing your prayers and we ask in the very precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Koyulup ne diyor?
പ്രപഞ്ച സുഖം തേടാൻ ഇപ്പോഴല്ല സമയം എൻ സ്വദേശത്ത് ചെല്ലേണം യേശുവിനെ കാണണം സമയ ത്തിൽ ഞാൻ സ്വർഗയാത്ര ചെയ്യുന്നു എൻ സ്വദേശം കാൺമതിനായി ഞാൻ തനിയേ പോകുന്നു സമയ മാം രഥത്തിൽ ഞാൻ സ്വർഗയാത്ര ചെയ്യുന്നു എൻ സ്വദേശം ായി ഞാൻ തനിയേ പോകുന്നു സംഘമാകവേ എന്നെ എതിരേൽക്കുവാൻ സദാ സന്നദ്ധരായി നിന്നിടുന്നേ ശുഭ്രവസ്ത്രധാരിയായി എന്റെ പ്രിയന്റെ മുമ്പിൽ ഹല്ലേലൂയ പാടിയിടും ഞാൻ ശുഭ്രവസ്ത്രധാരിയായി എന്റെ പ്രിയന്റെ മുമ്പിൽ ഹല്ലേലു പാടിടും ഞാൻ ജീവനും വേറുത്ത വീരന്മാർ 
സമയമാം രഥത്തിൽ ഞാൻ സ്വർഗയാത്ര ചെയ്യുന്നു എൻ സ്വദേശം കാൺമതിനായി ഞാൻ തനിയേ പോകുന്നു സമയമാം രഥത്തിൽ ഞാൻ സ്വർഗയാത്ര ചെയ്യുന്നു എൻ സ്വദേശം കാൺമതിനായി ഞാൻ തനിയേ പോകുന്നു ആകെയല്പ നേരം മാത്രം എന്റെ യാത്ര തീരുവാൻ ആകേയര നാഴിക മാത്രം ഈയുടുപ്പു മാറ്റുവാൻ സമയമാം രഥത്തിൽ ഞാൻ സ്വർഗയാത്ര ചെയ്യുന്നു എൻ സ്വദേശം കാൺമതിനായി ഞാൻ തനിയേ പോകുന്നു രാത്രിയിൽ ഞാൻ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ കൈകളിൽ ഉറങ്ങുന്നു അപ്പോഴൂമൻ രഥത്തിൻ്റെ ചക്രം മുൻപോ തോടുന്നു സമയ ോട്ട 
ഇഷ്ടം തികച്ചു സ്വർഗീരുതിനായി പറഞ്ഞിടും ഞാൻ മറുരൂപമ പരനേശുരാജൻ സന്നിധോ സംഘമാകവേ എന്നെ എതിരേൽക്കുവാൻ സാധാ സന്നദ്ധരായി നിന്നിടുന്നേ ശുഭ്രവസ്ത്രധാരിയായി എന്റെ പ്രിയന്റെ മുമ്പിൽ ഹല്ലേലൂയ പാടിയിടും ഞാൻ ശുഭ്രവസ്ത്രധാരിയായി എന്റെ പ്രിയന്റെ മുമ്പിൽ ഹല്ലേലൂ പാടിയിടും ഞാൻ